One, access control. Methods to determine who can use or access specific resources in a system. Two, authentication. The process of verifying someone's identity before allowing them to access systems or data. Three, authorization. Determining what actions a user is allowed to take once authenticated. Four, encryption. Turning readable data into unreadable code to protect it from unauthorized access. Five, multi-factor authentication, MFA. A security process requiring more than one verification method, like a password and a code. Six, hashing. A process that converts data into a fixed length string of characters used to verify that the data hasn't been changed. Seven, symmetric encryption. Encryption that uses the same key to encrypt and decrypt the data. Eight, asymmetric encryption. Encryption that uses two different keys, one public and one private, to secure communication. Nine, public key infrastructure, PKI, a system for managing digital keys and certificates to verify identities on the internet. 10. Digital certificates. Electronic documents that prove the ownership of a public key. Verifying identities. 11. Non-repudiation. Ensuring that someone can't deny they performed a specific action, like sending a message. 12. Integrity. Ensuring that data remains unchanged during transmission or storage. 13. Confidentiality, ensuring that sensitive information is only accessed by authorized individuals. 14. Availability, ensuring that systems and data are accessible when authorized users need them. 15. Risk management, the process of identifying, assessing, and prioritizing risks to reduce their impact. 16. Business impact analysis, BIA identifying the effects of an interruption to business functions and how to recover quickly. 17. Business Continuity Plan, BCP, a plan to keep a business running during and after a disaster. 18. Disaster Recovery Plan, DRP, a plan for restoring its systems and data after a cyber attack or disaster. 19. Incident Response, the process of identifying, containing, and recovering from a security breach or attack. 20. Penetration testing, a simulated cyber attack used to test the security of a system by identifying weaknesses. 21. Vulnerability assessment, scanning systems to identify and prioritize weaknesses that attackers could exploit. 22. Social engineering, manipulating people into revealing sensitive information or performing actions compromising security. 23. Phishing. Fraudulent emails or messages that trick people into revealing sensitive information like passwords. 24. Spear phishing. A targeted attack directed at specific individuals or organizations, usually more personalized. 25. Whaling. A phishing attack targeting high-profile individuals like executives to steal sensitive information. 26. Ransomware. A type of malware that locks or encrypts files and demands payment for release. 27. Malware. Malicious software designed to damage, disrupt, or gain unauthorized access to systems. 28. Spyware. Software that secretly monitors user activity and collects personal information without permission. 29. Trojan Horse. Malware disguised as legitimate software that tricks users into downloading it. 30. Worm. A type of malware that spreads itself across a network without needing user action. 31. Denial of Service, DOS. An attack that overwhelms a system with traffic, making it unavailable to users. 32. Distributed Denial of Service, DDoS, a DOS attack using multiple compromised computers to overwhelm a target. 33. Botnet, a network of compromised computers controlled by a hacker, often used in large-scale attacks. 
34. Command and Control, C2. The method attackers use to communicate with and control compromised systems. 35. Keylogger. Malware that records everything a user types on their keyboard, often used to steal passwords. 36. Man in the Middle, MITM. An attack where the hacker secretly intercepts and alters communication between two parties. 37. Session hijacking. Taking control of a valid user's session, often by stealing their session ID. 38. Cross-site scripting. XS. A vulnerability that allows attackers to inject malicious scripts into websites that others will see. 39. SQL injection. An attack where malicious CSQL code is inserted into a database query to manipulate or access data. 40. DNS spoofing. An attack that redirects a website's traffic to a fake site by corrupting the DNS system. 41. Brute force attack. A method of trying every possible password combination to guess the correct one. 42. Dictionary attack. A password attack that uses a list of common words and passwords to guess the correct one. 43. Zero-day vulnerability. A security flaw unknown to the software vendor, leaving systems vulnerable to attacks. 44. Patch management. The process of applying updates, patches, to software to fix vulnerabilities. 45. Two-factor authentication, 2FA. A security process that requires two forms of verification to access a system like a password and a one-time code. 46. Virtual Private Network, VPN. A secure connection over the internet that encrypts data to protect privacy. 47. Sandboxing. Running potentially dangerous programs in a controlled environment to see how they behave. 48. Honeypot. A decoy system set up to attract cyber attackers, allowing security teams to monitor their tactics. 49. Heuristic analysis, a method used by antivirus software to detect new or unknown malware by analyzing behavior patterns. 50. File integrity monitoring, a tool that checks files for unauthorized changes, which could indicate an attack. 51. Insider threat, a security risk from individuals within an organization with access to critical information or systems. 52. Least privilege. The practice of giving users the minimum access rights necessary to do their job, reducing security risks. 53. Role-based access control, RBA. A system where resource access is determined by a user's role within an organization. 54. Token. A small hardware or software device used in authentication, often multi-factor authentication. 55. Non-persistent threat. Unlike persistent malware, a type of threat that disappears after a system reboot or reset. 56. Persistent threat. A threat that stays on a system even after reboots, designed to remain active and hidden for long periods. 57. Password cracking. The process of attempting to guess or recover passwords, often using brute force or dictionary attacks. 58. Salting. Adding random data to passwords before they are hashed, making them harder to crack. 59. Shadow the use of unauthorized software or hardware by employees without the knowledge of the IT department. 60. Privileged access. Special access rights given to users, allowing them to make system-wide changes or access sensitive data. 61. Steganography, hiding data inside other files like images or audio to avoid detection. 62. Buffer overflow, a vulnerability that occurs when too much data is sent to a program, causing it to crash or allowing malicious code to run. 63. Zero trust, a security model that requires strict identity verification for every person and device trying to access a resource, even inside the network. 64. Penetration testing. 
simulating cyber attacks to find system vulnerabilities that attackers could exploit. 65. Threat Intelligence Information collected about cyber threats to help organizations protect themselves from attacks. 66. Network Segmentation Dividing a network into smaller parts to improve security and control access to sensitive data. 67. CM Security Information and Event Management Tools that collect and analyze security data from multiple sources to detect and respond to threats. Sector 68, Data Loss Prevention, DLP. Tools and techniques to prevent unauthorized access, use, or transmission of sensitive data. 69, UEBA, User and Entity Behavior Analytics. Technology that analyzes user and system behavior to detect unusual activity that might indicate a threat. 70, Advanced Persistent Threat. APT, a long-term targeted attack where an intruder gains access and remains undetected in a system for extended periods. 71. Malware analysis, the process of examining malicious software to understand its behavior and develop defenses. 72. Red Team, a group that simulates attacks on an organization's systems to find weaknesses in its defenses. 73. Blue Team, the team responsible for defending an organization's systems and responding to attacks. 74. White Hat, an ethical hacker who uses their skills to help organizations improve security. 75. Black Hat, a hacker who uses their skills for malicious purposes. 76. Gray Hat, a hacker who may break the law but doesn't have malicious intent often exposing security flaws for ethical reasons. 77. Keylogger. Malware that records a user's keystrokes to steal passwords or other sensitive information. 78. Drive-by download. A type of malware that is automatically downloaded onto a device when a user visits a compromised website. 79. SQL injection. An attack where an attacker injects malicious SQL code into a query to manipulate a database. 80. Cross-site request, forgery, CSRF. An attack that tricks users into performing actions on websites without their knowledge, such as changing settings. 81. Security token, a device or software token to prove a user's identity during authentication. 82. Public key, a cryptographic key that can be shared publicly and is used to encrypt data, which can only be decrypted with the matching private key. 83. Private Key A cryptographic key that must be kept secret and is used to decrypt data encrypted with a corresponding public key. 84. AES Advanced Encryption Standard A widely used encryption standard that ensures secure data encryption and decryption. 85. MD5. Message Digest Algorithm 5. A hashing algorithm used to verify data integrity, though it's now considered outdated and vulnerable. 86. Shea Secure Hash Algorithm. A family of cryptographic hash functions used to ensure data integrity. 87. HTTPS. Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. A secure version of HTTP that encrypts data transmitted between a web browser and a website. 88. TLS Transport Layer Security. A protocol that provides privacy and data integrity between communicating applications. 89. SSL Secure Sockets Layer. An older VR encryption protocol used to secure internet communication, now largely replaced by TLS. 90. Certificate Authority, CA, an organization that issues digital certificates to verify the identity of websites or users. 91. Security Policy, a set of rules and guidelines that an organization uses to protect its information assets. 92. Firewall, a network security device 
that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing traffic based on predetermined rules. 93. Intrusion Detection System, IDS, a security system that monitors network traffic for suspicious activity and generates alerts. 94. Intrusion Prevention System, IPS, a security system that detects and blocks suspicious activity in real time. 95. Cloud Security, measures to protect data, applications, and services in cloud computing environments from cyber threats. 96. Virtualization. The process of creating a virtual version of something, like a server or operating system, to improve efficiency and security. 97. Patch management. The process of applying updates to software to fix security vulnerabilities and improve performance. 98. Tokenization. Replacing sensitive data with non-sensitive tokens that can be used for secure transactions without exposing the actual data. 99. Threat modeling. A structured approach to identifying and prioritizing potential threats to a system, application, or network. 100. Log monitoring. The process of reviewing and analyzing logs from systems and networks to detect security incidents.